Hi and welcome to a short tutorial from First Vision showing the new Turbo Drive technology from Dalsa. This is going to be featuring using the new nano cameras that are out. Uh, so we're going to show you using the Cam Expert software how to change into Turbo Drive and show you some basic parameters within there. Uh, so we're going to go start up the program here. We're going to go down and start up with Superior LT. And within Superior LT, you'll see that we have Cam Expert. And so we're going to load this up. And this is basically your camera configuration tool uh, that will allow you to change all of the various parameters that we'll touch base real quick on. So when we first open it up, uh, we get some camera information that's here. We see that we have uh, the nano camera that's attached. Uh, we get all the various models, device information, et cetera, that is, uh, that is within this one pane. Um, you also have other controls that we won't get into here, sensor control, I.O., et cetera, uh, to be able to change all these various parameters. Um, so we're going to start off with in the sensor control we see here we get the acquisition frame rate where we can set these uh, frame rates accordingly uh, we're going to start out with uh, with the basic frame rate that would be for this camera at about 52 frames per second with this um, and we can see here we're going to basically can start some images that's that's here um, so we basically get a live image that's here you can see we're capturing this without any issues at uh, 50 frames per second and so we're operating here we can basically help change some additional parameters here as well. So we're going to stop this and we want to take a look at where our trouble drive is. And trouble drive is basically on true when it's on, false when it's not. Um, so for this instance, we're just going to start it off with turbo drive being off. And under sensor control here, we're going to go and change our acquisition frame rate. Uh, we're going to change this here to a little bit higher. Let's start trying to go above the frame. Uh, bandwidth that we get with Gigi at 60 feet, 65 frames. And we can see what happens here. In the bottom, we've gotten some errors. Uh, basically, it has incomplete data due to insufficient bandwidth. And that's basically we're going over the specific bandwidth for Gig E. So what can we do here? We actually have Turbo Drive that we can actually use to help us get a little bit higher, right? So what we'll do is we'll uh, stop this image here. We're going to go back to our Gigi Vision host controls. And we're going to turn Turbo Drive on. So we're going to make this to be true. And then we're going to grab that image again. And this is going to be at the 65 frames. We can see that we're actually start getting the 65 frames up in the upper half here. Uh, we get no bandwidth uh, transmission errors. We have a live image here. Um, so we're off and running. So all good. But let's maybe see if we want to go a little bit higher. So we're going to stop the image again here. And let's try to go a little bit higher above the bandwidth and let's try to go up to 80 frames, which is what the max is for this camera with turbo drive. Um, and we can go ahead and, uh, and start that image. And we can see here, we got no problems with the images. We got live image, we're running at 80 frames, well above the bandwidth for gig E. And that kind of shows you example of how you can basically work with your turbo drive within the Dalsa nano cameras.